This is gonna be a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Xiaomi Poco F2 Pro. Now, this isn't a very fair comparison because the S10 Plus is almost two years old while the Poco is a couple of months old. But it'll be interesting to see how the Snapdragon 855 on the S10 Plus has aged over time and how it compares to the Snapdragon 865 on the Poco F2 Pro. They're both on their latest software, so One UI 2.5 on the S10 Plus and MIUI 12 on the Poco F2 Pro. So we're gonna start with a boot up test, which will boot faster. The Samsung shows up first, which will get to the home screen first. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus versus Poco F2 Pro. Oh, Poco with the win on the boot up test. So we're gonna do an unlocking test to see which fingerprint sensor is faster. The S10 Plus has an ultrasonic sensor while the Poco has an optical sensor. So three, two, one. Ooh, that looks like it was about the same. Let's do that again. In three, two, one. Oh, my bad. Let's go. That's about the same. You guys let me know in the comment section which one was faster. These are the apps we're gonna be using. Some light apps at the bottom to some heavy games at the top. So phone dialer, faster on the Samsung, wow. Messages, faster on the Poco. Spotify, faster on the Poco. We got Samsung internet versus Chrome. That looked like it was faster on the Poco. Let's go to samsung.com. Samsung.com. And go. That was faster on the Poco. We'll leave that there. Uh, let me pick this up for the camera. No, sorry, that was a mistake. Let's do that again. Camera, faster on the Poco. Let's go to Play Store. That was about the same. You guys slow down the video for me and let me know which one was faster. YouTube, faster on the Poco. We got Twitter, faster on the Samsung, nice. We got settings, faster on the Samsung. We got Amazon. That was about the same. Then onto the gaming row. Subway Surf. Definitely faster on the Poco. Tap to play. We're gonna leave this here. Temple Run 2. That's faster on the Poco. Play. We're gonna leave this here. We got Asphalt 9. That looks like it's gonna be the Samsung. Oh my God. Wow. That is really surprising. The S10 Plus beat the Poco F2 Pro in the first heavy game. Okay, let's go back home. Call of Duty. Is the S10 Plus gonna get a second win in the gaming row? It's ahead. Oh my God, that's a win from the S10 Plus. Definitely a win from the S10 Plus there. We got PUBG Mobile. Can it bag its third win? PUBG Mobile. That looks like it's gonna be, the sound is coming from the S10 Plus. Oh my God, the S10 Plus is ahead. And the S10 Plus beat the Poco. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, what next? Let's. 
Let's go back home. We got Genshin Impact. This is like the heaviest mobile game out there. Seven gigabytes right off the bat, which is gonna be faster. It looks like it's the Poco F2 Pro. Let's see which one gets, opens the game up faster. And it's the S10 Plus, oh my God. Samsung is doing something great here. Now we're moving on to RAM management. They both have eight gigabytes of RAM, so it'll be interesting to see how they perform in the RAM department. We start with phone dialer, a refresh on the Poco, messages, okay, they both have that in memory. Spotify, a refresh on the Poco, browser, a refresh on the Poco, see the camera I think that's a refresh on both Play Store a refresh on the Poco the Poco is losing in terms of RAM management YouTube refresh on both Twitter that looked like a refresh on both settings refresh on the Poco Amazon refresh on the Poco. Wow, the S10 Plus is doing really good while the Poco is refreshing almost all the apps. Let's see, Subway Surf, refresh on the Poco. That's not looking good for Xiaomi. Let's see, Temple Run. Okay, they both kept this in memory. Let's go back home. Asphalt 9. A refresh on the Poco. Yep, that's a refresh on the Poco. The S10 Plus kept it in memory. We got Call of Duty. A refresh on the Poco. The S10 Plus has it in memory. This is amazing considering this is a one year old phone, almost two years old. PUBG Mobile, a refresh on the Poco. Oh no, okay. Okay, they both kept it in memory. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see Genshin Impact. And that's a refresh on the Poco. The S10 Plus kept it in memory. That's it for me in this video. Let me know what you guys think about this performance from the S10 Plus in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.